Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Sam and Max Save the World. Last time, we found the mole, but found out that he's turned traitor. What is all that about? Well, let's do some investigating. He's got a bunch of maps in here, with what looks like truck routes going all over the country. Interesting! But it probably doesn't mean anything. There is some stuff written over here, but I didn't have time to read it all. This gobbledygook's best left to the freelance accountants. I love how it's just racketeering, extortion, smuggling, and what does this one say? Oh, I can't, uh... What does that say? Unions. <laughs> oh, well, this game gets it right. Unions are indeed very, uh, mob-oriented. Hmm. Apparently, Teddy Bear keeps the details of his operation elsewhere. Shoot. All right. A gangster needs a little privacy when he changes bear heads. <laughs> Note, objects in mirror may not be a reflection of any person, living or dead. Okay. What's a dangerous crime outfit without readily available liquor? I guess you're right. He's a golden bear head, but looks like we can't uh, do anything. San Quentin? <laughs> wow. I can see all kinds of unimportant stuff on these. <laughs> Let's uh, go on through the Do Not Enter door. Do Not Enter Under Pain of Death. Signed, Don Ted E. Bear. Not much keeping us from going back there now, is there? Nope. Well... Alright. Thought there'd be some sort of puzzle to open the door, but I guess not. Hey, there's a whole bear making factory back here. You mean the respectable propriety of a gambling casino is just a front for the shadowy underworld of labor and industry? Huh, scandalous! <laughs> you two, you're back! Inconceivable! Come no closer! I know how to use both of these! I'll be honest, we're probably more worried about the gun. Indeed. More fool you then! And this hypno bear will make you my willing slave! <laughs> You can do the factory work now that you've rid me of my inept underlings! Look! Look at the Hypno Bear! Do whatever Teddy Bear said. Don't you feel sleepy? Don't we? We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from it. I asked you a question, slaves! Yes, master. So sleepy. What he said. Really? Seems a little off somehow. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. No, oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. Excuse me, master. Shoot your friend! I command it! This blow. <laughs> well, I think I know what we need to do. I think it's not working. Better try it again. Oh. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Now shoot! If we try the real gun, I don't think it's gonna work. I can't really shoot it, can I? I think it's not working. I better try it again. Okay. So I know what we need to do. Yes, man. Now shoot you! So we're good. Cap gun. I obey. Mother of mercy, is this the end of little Maxie? Oh, death, where is that guy, Sting? <laughs> really? Oh, the pain, the pain, and only two days to retirement. We got a promise. Just team all the Dukes of Hazard for me. Promise me. Okay, so... Or cowards die a thousand <laughs> deaths. Well, heroes die but once. Unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. So good night, fresh prince. <laughs> And may Charlie's angel <laughs> sing thee to thy rest. Right, well... So cold. Why am I so cold? Uh-oh. What the... Safe, caution, danger, run. Oh. Okay, good job, slave. Just 
just about ready to have you shoot him again. Yes, master. Now, slave, you run the factory while I read the paper. Just get the Hypnobear sorted for delivery. You can take them around later. And good, the audio good. cut out there. Now I'm off to see what Rye Observation Fred Bassett has for us today. Fred Bassett. Max, you keep playing dead. I'll figure out some way to bring Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective needs. I can't hear you. I'm dead. Alright, so uh, we need to ruin this factory. Now, from what I saw, when that got clogged, that uh, did something bad there, but not for long enough. You okay, little buddy? I could use a mattress. <laughs> I know I've got a protective device in my hat, but did we ever figure out why you can't be hypnotized? It's a mystery, Sam. I attribute it to my superior intellect. Hmm. Do you have a runner-up theory? I've lost so many Q-tips in my ears that they prevent me from hearing the subsonic ranges used in hypnotic suggestions? It's really a toss-up as to which theory is more implausible. <laughs> it's one of those. What do you think I should do? Take out Teddy Bear and while you're at it, this bear-making machine. Maybe the whole factory. Even dead, you don't lack for ambition, Max. But we can do it. I wish we could use those hypno-bears ourselves. Sam, nothing's stopping you. The world's your slimy, malodorous oyster. You know, Max, you're right. Boy, some slimy, malodorous oysters would go great right about now. <laughs> Stay for I'll work things out. By the way, I'm glad you're not dead. Me too. If being dead is half as boring as pretending to be dead, I'm never gonna do it. All right, so I have an idea. Oh, what did I just click on? This is quite a gizmo. Insidious. Nefarious. <laughs> Hopper. I think these are the voice gizmos for the insidious hypnotic bears. Hmm. Let's grab a bear. There you go. Give you all your money to Teddy. Oh, isn't that cute? Hmm. Fire extinguisher. Hey, this isn't even a real fire extinguisher. Okay. This is quite a gizmo. Well, that didn't do much. Hmm. What do you have to say? Wait, what's this? You're on fire. Okay, it doesn't say anything else but that. Insidious. And more of that. This is a token. I don't think that takes tokens. Ah, too bad. Master. What is it, hypnotic slave? Something wrong with the machine? No. Then don't bother me. Alright, so let's just, uh... What if we do this? Don't even try it! Yes, Master. Ah. Well, let's try it this time. Oh, you just think you know it all, don't you, Mary Bird? <laughs> Excuse me, Master. What is it? You will give all your money to Teddy Bear. I will give all my money to Teddy Bear. Rat. I'm sorry, I must have dozed off for a minute. What did you want, slave? Never mind. Maybe, uh, we can uh, program it to say something else. Let's see. Let's try this. I doubt I could hypnotize that. Listen, maggot, don't bug me till you want to bug somebody else. You got me! Hmm. I can't combine that with the bear. Otherwise, that was an idea. Let's, uh, see what Max has to say about this. You will give all your money to Teddy Bear. Max is immune to hypnosis because of his non standard cassava. Those hypno bears aren't helping much. Maybe you can modify them somehow. If you do, make it so it'll sew me a blanket and get me some oysters. I think you overestimate my craftsman skills, little pal. 
I'll settle for a handkerchief and a half petted snail. I'll settle for stopping the bad guy in his nefarious scheme. Oh, you're so conventional. <laughs> Stay put. I'll work things out. So we have Try to, to be quick about it. I'm freezing my ass off on this cold concrete floor. Whoa, watch your language, buddy. Come on. Do this. I doubt I could hypnotize that. Nah. I doubt I could hypnotize that. There's not much in this room. Nefarious. I think I'm Huh. I don't much like the funnies these days. They tend not to be. I can't listen to that. Think, boy! I'm thinking. I can't listen to that. Think, boy! Okay, I am kind of at a loss here. I'm not. Might have to, uh. I can't listen to that. Think, boy! Well, I'll get to you when I figure something out. You're on fire! Oh, look at this. There's a screwdriver right here. Didn't even see that. Okay, maybe, uh. Oops, you're on fire. Just grab the voice box. You're on fire. But I can't combine it, it won't let me combine anything in the inventory. So, uh. Can we. Use this up here. Oh, I know what to do. I'll use the voice box there. We'll put the voice box in with the uh, hopper with the other voice boxes. Okay, so if I put this frammel that's it in this folder hopper. Go. Now let's use this one. You're on fire. Oh, isn't that cute? And so, alter teddy bear on Harry. I know she's married now, but that Kathy is still smoking oh, hot. Come on, dude. Oh, master. What is it now, slave? You're on fire. I'm on. I'm on fire. Help! Help! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Okay. I, I figured we would somehow get him over here to, uh, make him... Here goes nothing. Go to the tube. I'm on Thanks, pal. I don't think that mole is as spelt as yours truly, though. In fact, look! Um, little help? No I can do. If it's comical or life Who says they have to be mutually exclusive? <laughs> I forget. Which color means I can't take my bath and body scrub with me? That what are you doing? Fun. That's what I call breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. You're really broken up about that buffet table, aren't you, Max? 
It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him how we cracked the case. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two, no, three jellied lemurs with extra salt. A news poop says your family may be in danger. What is that, clickbait? Oh, what is happening here? This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. Ah, this one only took four episodes. Anyway, this was, uh, of course, another fun episode. I knew it. <laughs> oh, that was good stuff. So that only took four episodes, so, uh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> anyway, that's about it, but what is this big conspiracy going on? Because there's more to this. We're just going to have to find out next time on Let's Play Sam and Max Save the World. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.